Until we have a clear idea of what this guy is packing, we're at a huge disadvantage. Listen up, Jabroni. We've only got two combatants out there. This hottie and your punk ass. But this is enough people to turn things around. No way. We don't even know who or what this guy is. Quit whining like a little bitch and just kill this guy. If you're gonna give up and die, then we'll know just how capable you are. If you're gonna be a detective, then man the fuck up and do your job for once. Got it? Yes. I'll take him out. Okay then. Now lure him out. Run this way down the hallway and you should reach the elevator. Wait on the upper floor. Huh? What about you? I'm gonna provide backup, obviously. I'm not so much of an asshole that I'd leave you hanging. Right? I guess I'm gonna have to go. Please make sure you have my back. Please. Please, sir. Chief. Standing around here is dangerous. Come on, we're moving. I don't know if I prefer this system or the one in the silver case when it comes to moving. Um, yeah, it was here, right? The elevator, yeah. Yeah, sure. We're on 75 right now. Yeah. I wasn't sure for a minute. Huh? The elevator stopped. I don't like the sense of instability. Why not? Shit. What do I do now? I don't get that bitch at all. What the hell kind of orders are these? Lure him out. The fuck kind of plan is that? She's not even backing me up either. I can't deal with this bullshit. Seriously. Oh, believe me, you can. It's not the worst thing. Oh. Were you listening? Were you eavesdropping? That's pretty creepy, man. If you were listening, just tell me so. I'm not actually the type of guy to talk badly about people. <laughs> To be honest, just between you and me, I actually respect her. That sounds forced, doesn't it? I really can't stand her. <laughs> you don't say. Uh-oh. Hmm? Is something shining? Yeah. It must be this dude. <laughs> a delivery guy? Uh, I don't think it's a delivery guy. Hey, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Hello? The mailman, right? What kind of work requires a night vision scope? You're really dense. Some sort of private startup or something? It must be pretty tough though. Having to insource secure work to go up against private corporations. Crawling up into the attic to assassinate people. Shit. This shit is dangerous. What the hell am I supposed to do if I die? Goddamn pampered, comfy bureaucrats shouldn't be playing with grown-up toys. Huh? What? Are you mad? Don't get in my way here. My job is stressful enough as it is. So? It's not like I get paid extra for being exploited like this in a dangerous environment. This job isn't really worth it. And the last thing I need is more stress. I want to settle this peacefully. 
peacefully. What are you doing here? Look, the 25th ward is kept secure by the Postal Services Federation. All the police need to do is handle adjustment and disposal afterwards. And seeing how your people actually work, what a pity. Looks like you're gonna die in vain, kid. So it was organized crime after all. I had read that it was a plot by general contractors, but damn. You simple detectives are out of your league with this. Your investigations are just a waste of time. This activity, it's invisible. What a load of horseshit. My job is managing and regulating the people. Now quietly shut your mouth. You talk too much. Bam. That's how easy it is. Again. You're a 25th Ward HC unit detective, right? And step up and kill them, motherfucker. Disposal is your job. But, like, there's that interval, you know? That unique feeling you get when staring death in the eye. The mental strain between you and the opponent, the conflict. You're gonna die, you know that? We're in the shit here. Guys who wait around for intervals get their asses handed to them. Next time you hesitate, hesitate like that, I'm gonna kill you myself. So stop being a pussy. Okay. I'll buy you some new undies later. So until then, keep your shit together. Shit. You embarrassed yourself in front of her. Man. Hey manager, you're in the way. Go hide somewhere. We're surrounded. We can't get out of this. These assholes are desperate too. If this is their oh-so-holy workplace, then we're the intruders. That's some arbitrary reasoning. Disposing of these guys is also our own arbitrary reasoning. It's basically the same thing, right? Sakaki has been killed. We have a really big reason. And we killed one of theirs too. So we're even. Even so, we have to avenge Sakaki. Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. All you need to do is whip out your guns and dispose of these assholes. This job isn't about reasons and reasoning and shit like that. But motive is important. What the fuck ever? It's been a while since the disposal this big. I'm pretty stoked. Don't get in the way, Jabroni. <laughs> and don't do anything stupid. Got it? This is a really big catch. Act accordingly. I'm gonna lose my shit too. The rage has really been building up. I'm gonna hulk the fuck out. Sorry if you get killed. <laughs> I love how these two just keep smack talking each other to to build up some courage well I'm gonna turn into a ferocious ass beast myself ferocious ass beast huh you're such a poet maybe I'll have you write my epitaph someday let the massacre begin The target residential district, number 6 Bayside Tower, has been neutralized. 39 Federation affiliates have been processed. 118 people were detained and then transferred to the processing center. Scheduled to be incinerated in 40 minutes. No change in schedule so far. Survival has been confirmed for three agents of the 25th World HC unit. One died instantly. Name. It has been confirmed that Agent Sakaki was killed in the line of duty. I see. Be sure to take proper care of a surviving family. Understood. What about our guy? We've confirmed their safety. I have been assured that they are both truly congenital criminal prowess. Good work. 
get out of the area as soon as the evidence has been destroyed. Roger. This isn't finished yet. You're still out there, somewhere close by. You're out there somewhere, laughing. Such an avaricious beast. Where are you? Looking down at the world and fucking laughing. Who is he talking about? I wonder, I wonder. There you are, up on the top floor. Who are you? Uehara's on the top floor of this building. Mm. Uehara? Is it Kamui? Uehara? Welcome back, sir. Please produce your ID. I will confirm your identity. How about we talk first? Please use this. Required VIP card. It's a security card for the special elevator. The person you need to meet with is on the top floor. Hmm. Checking. <laughs> Your identity has been confirmed. My apologies for the delay. Please proceed. Sure. To use the card again, yeah. yeah. So if you don't get what's going on so far, that's not that's not too bad. It's it is still pretty fucking cryptic. I mean, some hints are there what is happening, but there are a load of new people, and you don't necessarily get the whole picture yet. I'm not sure I do at the moment. And I've read through this and some more stuff already. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Uehara. Please, take it easy. Welcome to Kenshiro Nakane's domain. These are what you'd call adult toys. Ah, but please don't misunderstand. I wouldn't want you to think I was some sort of pervert. I don't mean it in the dirty sense. More like miniature gardens and collecting action figures. It's more like that. Much like how older people try their hand at bonsai. One social status and good name decides the toy. There's a reason high-rise buildings are constructed in the city. One can flash their rank to the world. Certain credentials are required to go upstairs. These credentials decide a person's value. But there are no more credentials for me to acquire. I've already obtained them all. That's why you're on the top floor. Please, have a seat. Are you the flea sent by the dogs at the Ministry of International Trade and Industry? I'm afraid a flea can't accomplish much. Mr. Uehara, it was me who called you here. I'm taking over the reins of the 25th Ward. After obtaining a wealth of actual power, I established this 25th Ward. For the purpose of creating the utopia of my dreams. Corporate kidnappings and the like are child's play. 
This is how governments fail and collapse. For this new form of community, securing human resources is of the utmost priority. Capable human resources are what create a superior city. Where the 24th world went wrong was its prolongation of its plans based on growth and education. People are not made. People are scouted. This is where the ide ideology of the 25th world lies. Due to environmental and situational factors, capable human resources are rising up all throughout the country. However, there are absolutely no measures in place for their support or securement. As if to strike a final devastating blow, huge numbers of employees have been let go from the postal service. These are the future citizens of the 25th Ward. For this purpose, building on the foundation set up by the former postal service, efforts toward mandatory citizen registration have been enhanced greatly. The inception of the project lies in indirect community administration. The purposes of use of people's IDs are clarified in order to construct efficient and effective interpersonal relationships. Then, by making rules and punishments clear, honesty and equality can be guaranteed. It becomes the city of dreams for those who want it. The urban residents absolutely swarmed in. However, that alone does not realize the ideal. It simply reconstructs a corrupt and depraved society once again. The future I have in mind is one of an all-new reconstruction of the Kanto region. Just as those who came in from the countryside built up Kanto, the 25th Ward will offer a new society, built up by the chosen few. Basically, it's a plan for a new second capital. Many of the politicians hungry for revenge supported the plan. The powerful modern-day lords of the various regions sent many residents to the 25th Ward. Community-based purchase of unwanted and unnecessary human resources were led by politicians. A cleansing for the outlying regions and a boon for the 25th Ward. But the 25th Ward also needs to be cleansed. While they may be the chosen few, Recessive elements are born. These elements absolutely must be processed and disposed of. The heinous crimes unit to which you belong is a special agency created for this purpose. The special rights you've been granted were provided an expectation of a similar cleansing effect. Taking all of this into consideration, I want to negotiate with you. I want to consolidate and aggregate these scandals of the 25th Ward. Therefore, I've prepared a new name for you. I want you to work under this name. You just need to do adjustments. Using the name Kamui Uehara. You should have no reason to decline. Kamui has been burned into your memory. You will enliven the city. I want you to become become the driving force behind these people's lives. As a special agent for the heinous crimes unit, and as a serial killer, Kamui Uehara. Plot twist. <laughs> if you haven't watched the civil case, it's basically the same plot twist. Well, if you haven't played it, rather. Since this place properly started up, there have been more than 50 suicides. I mean, I say suicides, but the causes of death are unknown. The police haven't been able to intervene. It's been hard for me to get by too. I'll look into it. If you get a chance, lend me a hand. So, what are you here for today? There's been an incident which I can say with certainty wasn't a suicide. The postal service manages this residential area. They're literally hiding out in these apartment buildings. Did you meet with the diver? Our agents did some pretty heavy processing. <laughs> but some people in white jumpsuits snatched the delivery guy. 
That was supposed to be our way of assisting you. What in the fuck exactly are you? Atoba, how deep have you ventured? I can feel the ghastliness in your tone. Just like the material of old. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? Why didn't you pull the trigger earlier? At that time, disposal would have been fully possible. I was unable to discern whether I was dealing with friend or foe. So you just let your catch go? To see how they'd move or what? No, that's not it. My position and my relationship with you are still vague. In all honestly, honesty, I didn't want to make contact just yet. I'm in pretty deep. I guess there's still a lot you don't know. That's certainly not good news. Adjustments may be required. You gonna kill me? No, I won't. I don't yet have the capacity to execute your adjustment. I'll handle the matter once I've become stronger. How modest, you creepy fuck. There's one thing I'm going to have to decline. The Ministry of International Trade and Industry is about to begin full-blown observation. They're attempting to use their powers of or forcible execution for the 25th Ward to change the laws of the entire country. Until then, just keep waiting quietly. That's impossible. If it's impossible, then we're going to have a problem. What kind of problem? The HC unit will be destroyed. But what if we can't be destroyed? Then that is when you and I do battle. I'll be looking forward to it. That's it. That was New World Order. And a good looking guy is coming soon. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, again, if you if you don't quite get what is going on, it's kind of like with the silver case. There are different factions, and they're basically all trying to do their own thing. And sometimes they they help each other. Sometimes they don't help each other. Oh, okay. Now I've already written my save that shit. I didn't want to do that actually, but whatever. And. Next time, we'll continue with, what was it? Good looking guy, right? In correctness. Good looking guy. Let's see, maybe we can f see a few glimpses of what what's coming up. Come on. No? Yeah? A few pictures? This guy didn't look good. Yeah, this guy doesn't look that good, I think. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Don't get your life killed.